Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ken. Today we're gonna to be cooking up some coconut shrimp. Let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off, I got some really large shrimp. Now, I use a pair of scissors on these to do dang these. But what you do, I've already done up a bunch of these, just wanna show you what we got going on. Just cut down the center here. And you're gonna peel off a little outer shell. Take this, you're gonna wash this out. Nice cold water, pull out anything that's in there. Then you're gonna take our knife we're going to run it down the center here. That way it'll get a little bit more batter on it. Get that all open up. All right. Now, our batter, what we're going to use, I've got some Tony Satchery's batter here. Coconut shrimp batter. Got that in here. One egg. Well, put that down in there. And three-fourths of a cup of beer. We're just going to take this, whisk this all together. Then we're going to take each one of our shrimp individually, dip them down in here, holding on to that tail. Get it good and coated. Take them, bring them over here, drop them down in our oil. Now each one of these is going to cook in there probably for about four to six minutes just until they get a nice, good golden color on them. And this batch will probably cook up about a pound of these. Do five or six at a time. You don't want to overcrowd it because you don't want your oil temperature to go down and you want to keep an eye on them. All right, now that these have been in here long enough, we're gonna start pulling these out. So you've got a nice little golden color to them. Set these on a little rack. Get some of that grease drip down through. You can put them on a paper towel if you needed to. Just want to give them a chance to drain some of that off. Look how good those look. You want to get a little bit of lemon, kind of squirt on them. Coat them up. You could use some sauce or something to put them on. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Mm. That is so good. Open them up. Open them up like that. Doing that little butterfly helps get a little bit more batter on there, make them a little bit crunchier. They're absolutely delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I hope you give it a try. We'll see you next time on In the Kitchen with Ken. Remember to check out my fan page on Facebook. Bye now.